All right, y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to the video. Y'all can see from the title and thumbnail what we are doing today. Another only eating what I catch video, but this time for 24 hours. We'll get into details, but we're literally going to be scavenging around a swamp pond today, plus the woods. We're going to do a little bit of mix, a little bit of fishing, a little bit of hunting. Cody might be coming out too, so just to switch it up, guys, because we're doing this type of video, this is going to be the first time we, uh, we're actually camping in a tent. I have this old little four-man tent. We're going to set it up, never been open before. Just to make it a little bit better we're going to be using a pretty cool product today in our video so let's jump into today's sponsor today we have the ac 200p portable power station this is an eco-friendly gas-free quiet cost-effective power station that is great for situations such as power outlets road trips and camping here in north carolina this power station will definitely come in handy when hurricane season comes around the ac 200p features an advanced battery management system and a smart temperature active fan built in to protect the battery and blue eddy put so many different charging options in this product we have six 120 volt ac outlets four five volt usb ports, one 60 watt usb c port one rv outlet and one car outlet on the top of the power station you will find two 15 watt wireless charging pads to charge your phone one of my favorite features on this ac 200p is the lcd display touchscreen you can see where your battery life is at the charge and discharge status and information about your product so guys Guys, huge shout out to Blue Eddie for sending out this product. It is going to be amazing in this video and more to come in the future. And like I said, just to top it off, I've picked up a little portable deep fryer. So any fish or animals that we catch in our video today, this is going to be amazing to use in the video today for us having the charger of phones and camera gear. This is the unit you're going to want to have. It has two portable handles on the side. It's very easy to carry. You have a lot of different accessories you can attach to this, like wheels. It can charge with solar panels. It is just top of the line a unit to be able to have out here with us. So it's going to be really cool to put this thing to the test today and use it in our video. With that being said, y'all let's go ahead and um set up our little tent well it's as good as it's gonna get this tent honestly whoop my ass i'm not gonna lie very very difficult it's not hard to put together it's just it's just a kind of a pain in the butt but we got a roof, we got something to throw our shit in, so let's get to it. So like I said, this is a 24-hour survival challenge on what we can scavenge to, to eat off of, because it's, let's, let's see what time is it. I've been talking to a couple buddies, they came and stopped by. Um, I was out here around 10, it is almost 1 o'clock now, so we need, to, we need to get rolling here. Now I've done a catch and cook in this pond before, so I know there is a lot of crappy, how many there are, that was three years ago, who knows. And I've also caught a little bullhead that was actually not, not even that little, it was around 2-3 pounds. We can get a catfish and some crappy, and then maybe scavenge around to 22 and see if we can get a rabbit or a squirrel. We, we will be in good shape here. So let me show you guys a setup of what I got and hopefully how we're going to pull this off. So like I said guys, I want to throw out a rod for catfish while I'm crappy fishing so maybe we can get a little two in one action. Here I have my little ultralight, I got a little thing of worms. There's a creek or a spillway that runs off of this main swamp pond. But if I can go down there in a little pool and see if we can catch a bluegill, we'll have bait to throw out for a catfish rod. So there should be some fish down there, I don't know though. Let's go find out. This spillway is so freaking cool. There's got to be some bluegill in here. Could be even some bass. Let's go ahead and bait up with our worm. Let's we'll see what we can get. See what happens. Oh, no. <laughs> there we go, y'all. That is our bait right there. A little tiny bluegill. It's going to be perfect for the catfish. Let's head back up to the old campsite. We'll send a rod out. No, it is winter fish are very lethargic in the winter, but. A little piece of cut bait down there at the dam side is probably around eight foot out there. There's a bullhead, he should want it. Let's go ahead and sling this out and see what happens. All right, so the catfish rod is over there. I got the old little special grub on. We got to kind of dive with a little bit of orange tint to it. It helps with fish for kind of a little bit of color and scent because they're going to be so lethargic. Um, like I said, there was a lot of crappy in this pond. I'm not sure if they're still here or if someone came and, you know, took them out since last time I did but I know when I was fishing it three years ago there was a ton of them we're gonna sneak down here and try to see if we can hit these three stumps out here from this angle here goes nothing bass is off the list if we catch one of those we're throwing them back I can't see myself eating a bass I love catching them too much same with crappy but 
that's an eating fish. Now this method don't work. What we'll do is slow the retrieve down as slow as we possibly can, which would be putting the old bobber on top of this and just kind of letting it drift around. And um, we should be able to pick one of them up though. Gonna cross this creek and change my angles up. So y'all, when we do go hunt, we have all of that back there too. We're on a lot of acres out here. So I'm excited for the old squirrel or rabbit. Hung up right here. This is a risky move, but normally it works. Let's see. No, no, no. What an idiot, dude. That is rough. Come on. Only so much we can do here now. And the boots are coming off. This water is about to be freezing. There's nothing. Holy shit. Oh, that's cold. Let's just make this a personal note to never do what I did again. I got it. Let's get the hell out of the water. It's bad when it's so cold that putting my feet back in it, it feels warm. Damn, my feet are white. Just say challenge ain't starting off good, but normally guys, that, that trick does work. You just gotta take the risk of if it don't, you gotta either lose a rod or get in. Two, two bass, one crappy, one crappy, but he was small, so I threw him back. I'm hoping I'm gonna get more. What? What's up, pal? What's up, man? Thanks for coming out. Welcome to the challenge. Yeah, welcome to it. What's up, beaver eater? Yeah, he loves that stuff, man. I'm going to keep throwing around for crap here. Yeah. And hopefully we can pick one up. There's a fish. Dude, this feels big, Cody. This is a big bass. Oh, it just, it just broke me off. There's a fish. There's a fish. Be a crappy. Come on. Come on. Big crappy, dude. Let's go. Oh, hell yeah. Get up here. That's what I'm talking about. Hell yeah. This ain't for you, Duke. I stole a string from the, the tent. We're going to use this as a stringer. I'll take that. I'm going to go back to the spot. I mean, a fish each would, would be, I mean, a good, a good snack knowing that we have not had breakfast or lunch. But I mean, if there's a hole over here, I'm going to keep fishing it and see how many we can get. We're keeping the fish alive in that stringer. About 30 more minutes until we kind of give up on this and go get us a squirrel or something. So well, we fished and we fished, could not make anything else happen except that one crappie, but we got him cleaned up. It's worth just to have a little snack right now. The way I do my crappie is that I actually keep the whole entire fish intact. Just cut the head, do the scales, clean them out. You get so much more meat, it should just fall right off the boat. Go ahead and power her on. Open up our 120 outlet. Got her plugged up. Let's go ahead and grab some of our oil. Dump her in. I forgot eggs and milk. We're going to make it work. Let's go ahead and grab her fish. Throw her in some batter. The old Great Valley. It's too crunchy though, Cody. <laughs> We're doing something here. Crappy's good, so you never had crappy before. No, not at all. Yeah, crappy's amazing, dude. I I've heard good things about it. I've personally never done it. I've always been, you know, catfish guy. If I'm out fishing for something, it's always been catfish. They got their winter weight right now, so this is gonna be good. All right, so we're letting her we're letting her warm up. This thing is firing up really good. I think this is putting out 1,200 watts. So um, yeah, this is gonna be good. Let's see what happens here. Once this gets up to temperature, we're gonna throw a crappy in. So I just put on DC. We're running on AC right now for the 120 alloy. Cody's gonna put I'll his phone up here. It's gotta go. Oh, there we go. There it is, son. A lot of these things, man, they won't charge through the otter box. So it really, yeah. uh, it's a big improvement for them it to is. actually go through the what? Three eighths of an inch, I'd say. <laughs> Yeah, so it's pretty awesome. That's nice, man. Up in. A little flipper oozy and she'll be good. Yeah. That's what we're looking like. I'm excited to do the first meal of the day. The fish is literally falling apart. I think we're good now. Get her on the plate. What in the hell, dude? <laughs> that thing is freaking ugly. Let's go ahead and power off. Shut our power. Let's see what our crappy's gonna taste like. That's what we're looking like. Like I said, you can see all of our batter fell off. There's still some on here, but crappy is so dang good. Cody's gonna try it for the first time, and even if it needs a little bit of a little bit of flavor, we'll throw some hot sauce on it. But I love crappy the way it sits. So let's go ahead and plate up and let's dive in. Split this with you. Take a bite of that. That's the tail. This is the French fry. Good. Like a French fry. It does fry, taste dude. just like a French yeah. fry though. Make a potato chip. It's flaky and white. Let's give her a little taste test. Tastes like catfish. It needs, like, we're literally just eating I, I, fish. It tastes like fish, yeah. 
But I, I think it tastes a lot closer to catfish than anything. I mean, obviously it's a crappy, but. Yeah. You get some skin with some batter and it pulled it off. Which is like good. some of the hot sauce going here. See what that's about. Dude, the hot sauce is where it's at. First meal of the day, it's an A+. Plus. It was amazing. With that being said, that is not enough food for these two fat asses right here. So no. We need to go ahead and hit the woods. Cody's got his 22. I got my 22. And um, The only difference is I can shoot. What? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> we'll what are you see. Talking we'll about? see. We might, we might need some uh, uh, encouragement. I, I'll, I'll be second shot. And then we can actually eat. I'll let him shoot and scare it first. I'll hit it while it's swapping trees, man. Straight hot, out there. Hot sauce got to his head. Let's go <laughs> oh, ahead and load up and let's hit the woods. I got the big camera in my book bag and uh, I got the GoPro on the chest. I also, that's what y'all are talking through right now. We both got our 22s. We're gonna probably start back. I don't know, man. I said we walk the uh, field line for a little bit. If that don't work, we'll jump in the woods, see if we can jump a rabbit. There might be some. I mean, squirrels are most active in the mornings and, and evening, so we're well, kind of- we're getting that time though. It's about to be dusk. Yeah, we're getting there, so. Duke's coming with us. Come on, squirrel dog. Make something happen yeah. here. See what he's got. See what he's got. Go, walk on this wood here. line. Come here. And we've seen like four or five nope. nests, but no squirrels. We're gonna have to keep on walking and hope we come across one. Nothing walking the field. We're jumping in the woods now and we're gonna see if hopefully we come across one. We're on the back side of the swamp now. Damn, that's a good rub. Oh hell, my deer hunt out here next season. Oh, literally I'm staying on top of a wood pile right here and I just looked at Cody and I said, dude, I'm telling you there's gonna be a rabbit hiding in here. So I start climbing on it and I'll shoot that son of a gun straight through the woods. We'll leave the camera rolling and see if we can cut him off. If we can watch him do one more run, he stops and we can see him, we can pop him. I mean, a big old rabbit too. Well, I'll walk this line, Cody, you look this way. I saw this direction, but I didn't see where he stopped. That's the only, that's the only way you can hit a freaking rabbit, dude, especially with the 22. I mean, you can snipe him, but you gotta ju yeah, jump him, let him run, and hopefully you can see him in your crosshairs and pop him from 30, 40 yards. We're jumping in right here. Cody's probably about 40 yards to my left. Gotta make something happen here. Apparently this is a pretty good spot for squirrels. A rabbit's gonna be hard to jump. I already explained to y'all about rabbits, but I'm on the lookout for those too. Um, it's just weird. Squirrels, if, if there's a place around a house, they tend to hang out there. They'll go there for food or to kind of hang out because squirrels, they get into on your roof, they'll chew your wires and stuff. But uh, my buddy told me that they come to his house and they kind of head back to the woods. So we're in those right now, walking up to, uh, to my buddy's house. So we should come across something here. We just kind of got to be quiet, wait them out. This is when these squirrels are going to be the most active. So let's hope, just hope we can pull this off. Y'all, it is getting dark. This is not looking good. I've been walking these woods for so damn long trying everything I can. but even gave me a 12 gauge just in case we see a rabbit to get a better shot on them, but I'm stepping on every single mound I can with brush trying to spook one up. And the only thing we've seen is back there behind the swamp and that's about 200 yards away from here. So I don't think we're gonna be able to get that rabbit over there tonight, but let's just hope we still come across something. We got about 10 minutes left of light. Hopefully we don't go hungry. All right, y'all, we were walking these woods for a long, long time. Cody wanted to be down here at the pond across the creek. I just came back and um, I checked the catfish rods and Cody has something on it. I don't know what it is. We're about to find out because we struck out. Cody, what do you have? That's a good question, man. It's a mud cat, dude. We ain't oh, going hungry. <laughs> it's a small one. That's what's in here though. I mean, the ones I've caught have been a lot bigger, but dude, that is something and we're not striking out tonight. This is definitely something we're gonna we're gonna take. My rod had nothing, but I'm glad Cody's does. It's probably Ow. about no no dude. They bite hard. Bullheads will bite your friggin' yeah, finger. Quit it. <laughs> but um well, how many pliers to get this one off? Yeah, dude, we're we're, we're good though. We're freaking he's about a pound, he's not that big, but we're cooking catfish tonight. Y'all, it sucks. Like one of the most like down moments ever just to know that we didn't get anything I and mean, this stuff happens this is part of the 24 hour survival challenge and for cody to get a catfish and us to pull it up here and review it this catfish for some reason had some of the biggest white and like red bumps all the way down on both sides of the fillets i don't know what it is it was infected through its skin and went into the meat it's just a disease maybe and you cook anything it goes away but just to be safe, it's just kind of one of those moments where it's like, I'm not eating that, I'm not, it ain't gonna happen. We threw, we killed them, so it doesn't infect the pond more, but it's just like, we're, we're back to square one with having no food, so 
Yo, it is what it is. We're completely out of options. All we have is our one crappy in, in, in our bellies, and we're just gonna have to wait till morning to I guess send food. <laughs> <laughs> right now we're just gonna have to wait until the morning to see kind of just what happens hopefully we can pop a rabbit or a squirrel but for right now we're gonna get the fire going just kind of chill out and um think about what went wrong today let's go ahead and get our fire rolling and just kind of see what the night holds for us We've been sitting by the fire for a little bit. We're about to call tonight. It is 10.05, that's what we're looking at right now. It is what it is, like I said, it's just part of the part of the challenge. We're gonna call tonight and try to get up. Well, I know I'll, we'll, we'll both be up probably before the sun comes up and just kind of hope there's something running around here. Right before we called it tonight, before Cody got the catfish, there was a rabbit in a little den at probably like 30 yards in front of our truck. So that's where I'm gonna check in the morning. We'll grab the 22 and hope we can make something happen because I'm about ready to fry something. I know Cody is too. So I will see you guys when the sun comes up. It's cold. It is cold. All right, y'all, you heard Cody and I conversations. The night actually went pretty good. We woke up around 5, and uh, it, 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 it was cold. I definitely did not want to get up out, out the bed, so we sat in the tent still and just kind of kind of dozed back off, and I actually woke up right at light, um, got the fire back going, and here we are. But overall, the night went good. The tent actually slept really, really super, super nice. A lot of room in there. Cody was on one side, I was on the other. Kind of Duke was kind of in the middle, and um, yeah, it, it, it went pretty darn good. But y'all know the only thing we got yesterday was our one crappy and our infested catfish. Honestly, I haven't even checked the catfish rod. Let's go see what's going on down there. All right, mine's the same spot. Cody, your line's all the way to the left, dude. Something for sure has dragged it all the way over here. Is it on the bank? Oh, yeah, it is. Something drug it all the way over there, though. But nothing. I'm gonna grab my 22 and just kind of walk around, y'all. It is morning time. There's birds chirping everywhere. My, my goal is to at least get a, a rabbit. There's just Really don't think there's just not that many squirrels on this property. I mean, we've got 100 acres. They're here. We're seeing nests everywhere. But as far as activity of them, it is about quiet. I mean, there's there's nothing. So let's grab the 22. Let's see what we can make happen. All right, y'all. Well, Cody, come in here. I just want to wrap this up with him. He's uh, where I got to stand. You're good. You're not telling me when he's setting up the camera, man. You're good. <laughs> he's going to head to work. He's going to shower, then head to work. Got to go check some traps. All right, Duke. You at the damn roof. Head Duke and get him home too. Yeah, once he once he leaves, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go scout around. But Cody, thank you, sir, for coming Stay out. Fun, man. I appreciate the invite. And uh, we I wish we could have shot more. We would have died. We Seriously. definitely would have died. We. <laughs> And, and this was a life or death situation. We're picking a new spot. <laughs> Not coming back here. <laughs> really just wasn't much squirrels, y'all. I really hope I can make something happen. Just wanted to wrap this up with him and um let's go hit the woods. Currently crossing the little creek right now. Guys, we are not giving up. We're gonna get one more meal at least. I do not mind if it's a crappy. Let's try our luck and see what we can pull out of here. Oh, that's a fish. What is it gonna be? What is it gonna be? Feels like a freaking bass. That's about to get me hung up. And it just came off. Son of a gun, dude. Oh, I'm striking out. I'm striking out bad. There's a fish. There's a fish. Be a crappy. Be a crappy. I think it is. Oh, you stay down. You stay down. What is it? What is it? It's a crappy, dude. It's a good size crappy, too. Damn, that's a big one. Yes, sir. 
We are not starving today. Guys, I've been working my tail off of this fish. Oh, it has been a struggle. This is my last crappy jig too before I was gonna have to just sit out here to 10 o'clock before my 24 hours is up. I was using the old bobber rig as a method that I've learned over the years and it's a, it's a patience type of fishing, but y'all, it does pay off. It's a good one, much bigger than the last. This fish means a lot. It really does. I appreciate you crappy for, for making this happen for me. Let's go ahead and clean him up and let's put him in the fryer. Guys, literally cannot tell you how excited I am right now to fire up this Blue Eddie and to get some fish cooking. Get her fired up. Oh yeah. Let's get some fresh oil in the pan. I did something different this time. I have not filleted a fish and ate it that way and I can't tell you how long. So that's what we did. I did the old pocket knife job as good as it's gonna get. They're not looking too bad. I found some garlic powder in my truck and Cody left his hot sauce. We're gonna do something a little bit different. Today we cannot get our breading to stick to our fish. So we're gonna change that up and put some hot sauce in the bag. Oh yeah. Go ahead and close that up. Let that sit for a little bit. Dude, I'm so hungry. Give this a little shake, let that marinate up. Guys, we've only used this Blue Eddy for about 12 minutes yesterday, I charged my phone on it last night, I charged my light, I charged some camera gear, and we are only at 87% life out of 100, which is pretty freaking darn good. Having our shake and bake batter, breading, get that dumped in there. Throwing this out there, guys, if you ever stuck around in this video long enough, I really do appreciate it. This was probably the most we've ever struggled ever in a survival challenge, which is like, 100 acres y'all we have this massive swamp pond here i mean we did pull it off with our with our clutch last little fish here but we're gonna have some different methods to come back out here and uh really just try to go for rabbit there's a lot of dens for rabbits we came across two of them i know there's for sure one back there that we could go snag and there's a there's a lot going on over here too so yeah it's just kind of hard to get those with a 22 they're running out those freaking dens so quick you gotta just be able to watch wait pull the trigger on them so at least we're able to pull it off with the fish today. We're starting to bubble over here. We're getting up to temperature. Let's get our garlic powder. Garlic or onion? Yeah, garlic powder. Dump a hefty amount. We got fillets here. We're going to make little chicken bites. Pull our fillets out. One. Oh, yeah. Some air in the bag and give her the old shake. Shut off, but it kicked back on because the oil dropped a little bit of temperature. But we are at 350. And guys, look at what these are looking like. Dude, I'm so hungry. Oh, this breading is going to stick on there nicely. It's a good little, good little two fillets. Put a little bit more oil so we can actually see when the fish floats. My damn breading fell off again. What the hell, dude? Might be the brands I'm buying. Shake and bake's pretty good. I don't know. Maybe we need the egg. We got to we gotta make sure we have that next time. Yeah, look, you can see it. Literally all of it just falls off at the bottom. No, we're frying it, but I can't tell y'all how good that smells. Let's go ahead and power off. See what we're working with here. Not much, but it's gonna it's gonna be enough. Cause we got it, why not? Let's go ahead and hit it with a little bit more seasoning. Grab a little bit more hot sauce. Let's dig in. First bite of her for laid crappy. Oh yeah, she crunchy. Not all the batter's there, but it's too crunchy. Here's one freshwater fish I could just pick for the rest of my life. It'd be, it'd be crappy. All right, y'all, even though this video didn't go as planned as we wanted it to, that you can't, can't plan a video. You just gotta roll with it. Did we eat as much as we wanted to? Absolutely not, but we still managed to get some food in our stomachs. The rabbits and the squirrels chose to hide the whole entire 24 hours. I have no clue, but at least the crappy showed their faces. Either way, that's how these videos go, them being 24 hour survival challenges. And once again, a huge shout out to Blue Eddy for sending out that unit and letting us use it in the video today. You guys are going to be seeing it in more future videos. The fact that we can bring it with us, fry up our fish, hopefully some squirrel and rabbits one day. Easy to use, multiple charging ports. Literally for a YouTuber, y'all, that is, that is a plus one. And like I said, they have tons of accessories for these things. You can load them up, pretty much customize them the way you want to. So if you guys are interested in any of their products, I will link everything in the description. Go check them out. Because companies who support me, y'all should go support 
support them. So I really appreciate you guys watching. Like always, till next time, Lit Bass TV.